1 and 2, Properties of Materials. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine. Are you ready to learn science stuff? Great! But before we start our lesson, I want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for our study. Try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with our lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what are the different materials that can be found at home? Number two, what are the different properties that can be observed in each materials? Number three, what is the importance of knowing the different properties of materials? What are the different materials that can be found at home? Can you name some of those materials based on the picture? What are the different materials that can be found at home? I give you 10 seconds to answer it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Let's check your answers. So based on the picture that we have, we have casserole, pans, cloth towel, glass jar, wooden chopping board, plastic containers, cooktop, utensils, bowl, knife, cabinet, ceramic, and mug. What can you say about the materials being used? Great! Some materials made out of metal. Example, casserole, pans, cooktop, utensils, and knife. Some are made out of glass. Glass jar, ceramic mugs, and glass containers are example. Some are made out of wood. Example, chopping board and cabinets. Some are made out of fabric. Example, cloth towel. Good job! Can you give at least three words to describe each group of materials? I give you 10 seconds to answer this activity. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Let's check your answers. So what are the different properties that can be observed in each materials? Casserole, pans, cooktop, utensils, and knife possesses the properties such as hardness, conductor of heat and electricity, waterproof, and malleability. Glass jar, ceramic mug, and glass containers possesses the property of brittleness. Wooden chopping board and cabinets has the property of hardness. Cloth towel and apron has the property of flexibility and absorbent. Tire, rubber band, and raincoat possesses the property of flexibility, elasticity, and waterproof. We have two kinds of property according to their characteristics. The first one is physical properties. It is the characteristic of a matter that can be readily observed without changing its composition. Example, the window is transparent. The second one is chemical properties. It is the characteristic of a matter that can be observed when the composition of a material changes. Example, the milk changes its taste when vinegar is added to it. Here are the list of properties that can be observed in the materials that we have at home. We have hardness. It is the property of an object that makes it withstand pressure. Example, stone and steel. Brittleness refers to the ability of an object to be easily broken or crushed into pieces. Example, glass and window. Malleability is the ability of a metal to be hammered or beaten flat. Example, tin can and roof. Ductility is the ability of a material to be stretched or pulled out to and be formed into fine thin wires. Example, copper wires and gold. Here, number five, flexibility is the ability of a material to be bent without breaking. Example, water hose and plastic straws. Number six, elasticity is the ability of a material to be stretched and return to its original form when released. Example, rubber bands and Rio. Number seven, porosity. 
porous object have tiny pores that allow them to easily absorb liquid. Example of this is sponge. Number eight, density refers to the amount of mass in a given volume. Number nine, solubility refers to the ability of a substance to be dissolved in another substance. Example, coffee and hot water. Number ten, viscosity refers to the property of liquid that resists flowing. Example, BB oil and shampoo. Number eleven, chemical reactivity is the ability of a material to react and produce new materials when combined with oxygen, acid, and water. Example is bleach mixed with water. Number twelve, thermal conductivity allows heat to pass through. Example, cooktop and pans. Thirteen, flammability as the ability to support combustion. Example, match and paper. What is the importance of knowing the different properties of materials? It is very important to be familiar with the different properties of materials so we could relate how we can use them. Number two, knowing the different properties of a material gives us enough knowledge on how to handle them to avoid accidents. Number three, a material can be useful if we handle and use them correctly. A material can be harmful if we handle them improperly. I hope you learn a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in in our next one. Bye.